And I want to bring on to the show uh, someone who actually has an article that he wrote uh, today, uh, this week, called The Time for Leftist Extra Legal Action Has Finally Come. So that's another tactic. Um, and that is the writer, Freddie DeBoer. Hi, Freddie. Oops. Hello. Hi, welcome. How's it going? Good, thanks. You? Uh, I'm okay. I want to ask you what, what made you write the piece that you wrote about how the time for leftist extra legal action has finally come. You know, I grew up in a communist household and I was, you know, I did a lot of anti-Iraq war, organizing, Occupy stuff, et cetera. And the, the entire time, there's always been people who say, we need to really do something, by which they mean do some kind of illegal or violent direct action in support of left-wing causes. Um, and I have always been quite dismissive of uh, that stuff because you have to like know, okay, this is who we're going to hit and this is why and this is our odds of success, right? Like, um, you know, I, the, if you're going to go against the state these days, you know, the state has satellites that can read your T-shirt from space, right? Like the state has predator drones and MRAPs and stuff, right? So just just a sort of generalized let's rise up is not very um, useful. But I think with the issue of abortion, while, of course, nothing is ever going to be a substitute for uh, for total uh, and uh, uh, nationwide legality um, of abortion services, I do think that we ha it's a unique issue in that um, – <clears throat> Individual real uh, people uh, can uh, participate in securing a, a safe abortion access for women in states uh, where that access is illegal. Most of that will likely take, will take the form of getting them to states where the uh, procedure is legal and helping them to get the procedure, uh, helping to fund their way, giving them places to stay while they recuperate, uh, giving them access to transportation and things like that. Now, one thing that I would stress to everybody is um, it's not as simple as saying we're going to have pro-choice and pro-life states because I, I can guarantee you that um, uh, there are bills already drawn up in a lot of states will attempt to criminalize um, women leaving state lines in order to, to pursue an abortion. So this, this in and of itself would be extra legal. Um, but uh, I would also uh, say that uh, there are going to be situations, particularly in a state with, like Texas, where um, it really is a, a significant uh, travel hurdle to leave. I think that we will see the provisioning of um, abortion services that are illegal within those those states themselves. I just wanted to say that, to, you know, to generations of young lefties who I've known, who have, you know, sort of made a fetish of breaking the law in the pursuit of political victory. I think this is the issue in which that is actually going to happen. I, you know, uh, I think that there's going to be um, an abortion network in this country that will secure those uh, those rights for uh, for women who can't get the can't get it legally in their own state. I will repeat that that is not as mm -hmm. good as or any substitute for. Uh, genuine legal provisioning of abortion in all 50 states. But um, I think it's a very important thing that we're going to have to think about in the future.